If you wanted all of your internet to be routed through a VPN, you need to first set up a VPN and then turn it on on your iPhone. I'll show you how to do it. Let's first open up the settings app on your phone. Once you've opened up your settings app, you can see towards the bottom is general. Just tap on the general option. And now let's scroll down to the very bottom and you'll be able to see towards the bottom is VPN and device management. Just tap on that. Now you can see the VPN is currently not connected. Tap on VPN here, and you can see I do have a VPN on here. You can see VPN Super. If I tap on the little I right next to it, it shows me the information about that VPN. If you don't already have a VPN, you can manually set one up by hitting Add VPN Configuration. But keep in mind, you'll need a lot of specific information about that VPN. Most people don't go down this route. Most people just go to the app App Store and download a VPN app directly. Now, once you've done that, you can just toggle this on and you can see it says not connected and then connected. You're connected to a VPN when you swipe down from the top right. You'll be able to see it says Wi-Fi, it has a little signal, and next to it is VPN, indicating all of my website traffic, app traffic is going through that VPN. Now, if you don't already have a VPN on your phone, you can again go into the App Store and then just search for VPN and hit search. There are a bunch of different options. I downloaded this top one that gets great reviews. And now after you've opened that up and downloaded it, all you need to do is tap on it. Another option you have, keep in mind this is completely free, but if you do get the free version and don't pay for it, you do have to see an ad every once in a while. But you can see here, it just says connected. And then I can just tap on connect to connect to it or I can tap on it again to disconnect. So I can do that in the app itself instead of physically going into the settings of my iPhone. You can see there I'm connected and I can tap on it again to disconnect and I can disconnect from it directly on the app itself or in the settings of my phone.